have you ever wondered how come there are companies like Google, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft sending out a lot of codes on an everyday basis but still the quality is very high? What up guys, this is Bharat here in this video, we are going to be talking about what is the process of a code review in a software development journey and what are the best practices that you can follow if you are new to this software development journey itself. Let's go. First things first, uh, software in a software development journey, you go through a process called as developing from scratch. So there is a team that is working on a framework. You work on a branch which is called as a mainline branch. So the code is going to be written in one branch. You're going to break out from the branch, go for a local branch and write some code there. And you're going to put your code back to the mainline branch. So this is the process that every software development team follows. In this software development process, you are going to be submitting your code for review by your peer engineers. These peer engineers could be like your team, own team people or maybe your customer team people or anybody who is going to review your code to make sure that the quality of the code is right above. Uh, in order to make sure that the quality of the code is right above, there are a lot of things that these teams can do. They have, can have a checklist of data, they can have a checklist of points that has to be followed by every code engineer uh, or even there could be some logic, logical things that you, you should be writing in separate way. All of these things are unique to a team. And that is why this code review process itself is very unique. First thing, if you are actually going to be the programmer who is going to write the piece of code, you have to have some things in your mind before writing this code review. Uh, if your code is going to be submitted for review, you have to make sure that it is readable. First of all, you have to have comments, you have to have doc strings, you have to have everything that, is make, that will make sure that whoever is reviewing your code is going to find it very easy. Second point is you have to understand that there is nothing personal when it comes to code review. That could be a, your same level employee commenting on your code for like say 10 lines of 10 lines of code you would have commented 5 comments for your single uh, CR. That doesn't mean that your code is entirely wrong. It is just that there are people who have taken this code review to a place where it is every single line of code is going to be reviewed. The major part of code review itself is actually make sure that only quality code goes into the uh, picture. There could be logical errors, you can catch that in CR, there could be syntactical errors that you can catch that in code review. There could be, say, for example, indentation error, there could be the missing doc strings. There could be, say, for example, you've caught a major uh, index uh, set fault error. So those are things that can be caught during code review. And there are certain things that should not be done in code review. We're going to be seeing all of that in this video. But for now, as you are a programmer who's going to write the code and put it for CR, you have to make sure that you write proper, documented, well-documented, readable code. And you also may have to make sure that the code review process itself is for the team and not for yourself. Never take the code review process as a personal one and you know make sure that when you are reviewing their code, don't make it very personal. The code review process itself can be a very, very, you know, a learn, learning curve for yourself. When I first joined into this team where I was interning the first one week of co writing code, as the code was reviewed by more than four to five engineers. So it is, it is a process where you are actually giving your code, you're subjecting your code for feedback. And that is a very, very good place to learn. There could be a lot of things that you have learned in universities that you have to unlearn when you're actually in the production, doing your writing of a code for production. And that is where the code review process comes into picture. All right, that is it from my side for actually a code writer or the code author. But what is the code reviewer or the engineer who's actually doing your code review should do? There are a lot of things that is a code engineer who's reviewing your code should do. First thing, again, do not make things personal. There is no point in actually writing the same comment for 100 lines of code you know, if the person repeats this mistake at 25 lines, there is no point in making it uh, obvious that he has missed it in 25 lines. There are people who do that, but the, personally it doesn't, doesn't make sense because if you're going to do a code review for a, say 100 lines of code and the person has repeated it 25 lines, the code itself is very small. So what is the point of writing 25 times on the same, you know, putting the same comment every line? It is actually not going to be, it is not going to be paint a good picture in the morale of the team because you don't want to see 100 for 100 lines of code review uh, had 50 comments in your code review so you have to make sure that there is going to be nothing personal it's always the team which is going to be in your mind before you even do this code review second point i'll always make things uh, very clear when you're putting the code review comments because that is, that could be something that he has logically missed missed he or she has logically missed and you have to make sure that you have proper things that you have to convey these things in a proper way saying that this is what is supposed to be happening but this is what has happened you can change this to that because that is how our doc says or that is how our guidelines says or that is what the entire logic of the program is so that is how you can paint your com uh, comments in a better way if there is a new person in your team say he's just 15 days old in your team and he's written a piece of code 
and is a new piece of functionality do not make it very very you know paint a picture saying that he is very new to the team and you do not want to show your authority to him this is supposed to be happening in a lot of teams i have seen this happening in a lot of software development teams where the lead engineer actually is going to uh, put 100 comments in into one cr saying that this is what you do this is what you do there is a separate process for that where you transfer your knowledge to this person and so that you can transfer all of that there in an offline fashion and not put all of that in the cr and you know paint a very sorry picture for that person also understand that this is there is nothing there is no point in being authoritative about what you have said you just you just suggesting something to the person who is writing the code you are just acting as a gatekeeper to make sure that only quality code goes into the framework there is no point in being authoritative saying that if you do not do, do this i am not going to approve this code just make sure that it is going to be a, you know a core learning process that you just both coexist in a team so that the framework is actually very good very well built the important part of writing or uh, sending in code for uh, uh, cr is to actually make sure that there is no production bugs that are actually going to be caught the problem with production bugs is that if there is going to be a production bug the cost of repairing that bug is very huge so that is why people ask actually make sure the cr process is very very unique it, it has to be in a such a way that it has to be in a such a way that there's a culture in the team to make sure that the code review process is done properly or right, like i said the code review process is very unique to the team and you make sure that the team is in a very good form you combine with the team you have a weekly sync up on this and you know make sure that the quality code goes into the picture or again that's it for me i wanted to make this point very clear in this video that is why i made a video on code review in particular if you have any good learnings that you you follow in your team or if there is any good practices that you follow in the team you can put them in the comment section below so that everybody can learn from them all right you know what to do hit the like and share button somewhere down below and uh, also subscribe that is what makes me going with making these videos all right guys let me meet you in another video until then peace out